What's up, Art Hive? Thank you to everyone who participated in my Queen of Hearts challenge. Last week I uploaded the compilation video with all your submissions as well as my own Queen of Hearts. And I also got to be a guest on Llama Freak's channel, so in case you missed any one of those, all links will be in the description. I worked myself a little too hard though, which left me with a weak and achy wrist. So for this week I'm going to show you a portrait I did a few months back and do something of a little story time, I guess. For today's topic, I want to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately. I see so many of you talk about how much you dislike your own art. And once again, I want to talk about the importance of letting yourself fail and how talent doesn't really matter at all to me. When I grew up though, I thought that art skills was something that you were born with. I guess I could draw like decent doodles for my age, but I didn't really care, I just drew a lot because it made me happy. So when it was time to go to high school, I chose an art focused one. And suddenly I found myself surrounded by others interested in art and a lot of them were a lot more skilled than I was. For the very first time, I had someone to compare my art skills with and seeing all these people make cool art and compare it to my own was really hard for me. So when I left high school, I stopped drawing completely. I mean, apparently I didn't have the skills to become an artist and I felt stupid and talentless. I didn't even want to try because I was too afraid to be disappointed in what I made. Now, fast forward to early 2018, I had been together with my partner Vin for a few years, most of which we had lived in a teeny tiny studio apartment with not much room for privacy. Because of that, I had the absolute honor of seeing him make music and work hard every day. What surprised me was that he said he was never completely satisfied with anything he made, and that made me realize something. Skilled, successful people aren't some kind of magical breed of humans who, like, won the talent lottery. They are just ordinary people who let themselves fail and move on and do it all over again just to be a little better with each time. At this point I had finished a year of art school and I could see myself get better with practice. I slowly realized that skill has nothing to do with talent and hard work will beat talent every time. And I can't really believe it took me so long to figure out something so basic. Um, but by sharing this I hope I can save someone a few years of thinking that they are not good enough. You know, just work hard and practice consciously and you will get there. So I ate a lot of noodles and saved up some money and did something I wanted to do all my life. I bought myself a computer and a drawing tablet and I started allowing myself to risk failure. I started watching tutorials and critiques and did a lot of paintings where I tried my best to do what I had learned. I uploaded videos to keep myself accountable so thank you very much for being here and making sure I stick to my schedule and you know this could be a really good opportunity for me to just gently slip in a little please subscribe and hit the bell and then casually move on like nothing happened. Anyway, learning to finish a piece, even though I'm not happy with it, is probably one of my biggest achievements in life. To be able to look at something and just say, okay, I will call this a finished piece, now what can I do better next time? It's really cool and you should try it. <laughs> I'm still terrified on a daily basis, but that's okay. It's okay if my paintings don't turn out the way I want them to, because with hard work, one day they will.